Hi guys, Robby46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP19 on the Xbox One X. Today we're going to Aragon round 14 of our Moto2 Pro career. We are really getting towards the end of the season now and uh, there's only a few races left to go. I think if we can leave here with enough points then we may be able to wrap up the title. If not, it might be Bury Ram. Okay, so 155.1 is not going to be quick enough for Paul, I don't think. I need to get into the 154s like I was in FP3. Augusto Fernandez on track just ahead of me. Is he going to get in the way? Yes, is the answer. Is that going to affect my first sector time? Probably lost at least one or two tenths of a second there. Oh, six tenths under at the moment. That is good. Let's keep pushing. KTM's been feeling pretty good around here. Been feeling pretty good. Hasn't taken too long to uh, get this bike adjusted for this track. Turn 12, which I usually have trouble with, especially in MotoGP. Hasn't really been too much of a problem in Moto2. Getting it stopped pretty much spot on there. Might be slightly different in the race, of course. We'll have to wait and see. Especially if I'm battling. But... Um, yeah, into the chicane. A horrible chicane, and then onto the back straight. Okay, so. We'll get ready for the last couple of corners. Through turn 16, a little wide. But we can bring that back for 17. And run to the line. That should well and truly be a 150, 153.8. Okay, that's a surprise. That's the end of the so a 153.8, that's the fastest lap I've done in the Moto2 around here. Here we are live from the Moto2 class starting grid. Where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before So track race. temperature 37 degrees. Um... I reckon medium front. I'm going to go for a hard rear. See what happens. Has everyone else gone for medium, medium, hard, hard, medium, hard? Okay, a lot of people going for a hard front tyre, which makes sense. It is a very front end track. Let's see how we get on with the medium front. Right, here we go. So, losing a few positions off this start. Not too many, though. In fact, already back up to fourth place, which isn't too bad at all. Okay, around the outside, up to third. So, third place, Badazari leading Marquez in second place. Nearly went into the back of him then. Okay, try and close in. I mean, we're in a good position. We've got a hard rear tyre on, so don't need to worry about that. Possibly might need to worry about the medium front, especially those on the hard front. We get the inside of Marquez already. Yes, we can. Oh, I'm going wide though. I'm going wide. Is he going to come back through? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Marquez, where are you? I can hear you. Okay, well, staying in second place then. Oh, that's too wide. Oh, there he is. Oh. Okay, down to the chicane again. Badazari pulling away a little bit. Oh, that wasn't a very good exit. That wasn't a good exit from me. So, 
So that's uh, really allowing them to escape at the front at the moment. That's quite a big gap, especially to Bowzari. The rear moving around a little bit, but that's fine. So on the first lap, Bowder's already done a 157.9 out of the 159.4. Okay. We were way off their pace at the front. So that's not good. That's not good for the opening lap. There are definitely certain corners where I'm closing the gap back down to Marquez. But it's fine, I don't need to panic. We're only on lap number two. No need to panic. Everything is fine. In fact, Marquez is closing in on Baldessari, so it wouldn't surprise me if he gets past him soon. Which isn't good news for me, because if Marquez is even quicker than Baldessari, we might struggle to catch him towards the end of the race. We're closing here, so we get a much better run through turn 10. But we're back with them now. and get a better run through here this time. That was better. Okay. Oh no! I double shifted then. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed gear up but I didn't think I pressed it hard enough so I pressed it again and ended up double shifting. Well that was a mistake. That cost me a bit of time as well. So 156.0, 155.5 from me. So although I went quicker, it's still 0.7 gap to Marquez. So making a few mistakes as well obviously isn't helping. But I obviously do have the pace to uh, get with these guys and try and get past them. We're almost back with them already. pretty much with them now so that's good down to the reverse corkscrew oh I thought I was going to get through then and I wasn't intending to okay right I'm not going to do what I've done on lap one but we do get a better exit back in the second place I go can I hold it down to turn 12 I'll tell you what I was too hot into there just about holding it as well so that's fine so lap three and we are with the leader oh bit of a wheelie there get down try and slipstream Baldessari he's already pulling away though so that's not really going to help Marquez is uh, falling back now so Alex Marquez is uh, looks like he's out of this race at the moment He's just uh, starting to fall back. If he falls back too much more, he will be obviously with the uh, the next group. 155.3, the fastest lap of the race. Oh, nearly high sided there. The front tyre is getting slightly overheated which isn't ideal, but uh, it should be fine. Oh, not if I go into the back of anyone though. Just missing Baldessari. Just try and find a way past him if I can. We're on lap 4 of 15. I think if I could get past him, I could uh, pull away. 
that's just trying to get past him. Too hot into that. Okay, well, we definitely get a better run through turn 10. We get a good exit, so it might be able to put me up for a pass down into the next corner, turn 12. Ooh, around the outside. I don't think that's going to work. Not quite. No, <laughs> Baldessari just hit the rev limiter there. Oh, that's me wide. Yeah, Marquez almost a second behind now. He has definitely fallen back towards the uh, the next group of riders. Okay, through it. That's way too hot into that. That's going to lose me time. Okay, over the line. Four tenths of a second about Azari. Close in on the brakes into turn one. We close a little bit through turn two. We close. We will close in a little bit more through turn three. So we just carry so much more corner speed through turn three. Oh, Marquez is still there, but not quite. Get a good exit through seven. Down to the hair pit, the reverse corkscrew even. Again, I'll try and get the run out of turn ten. Oh, I've gone too wide though. Yeah, it was a bit too wide. We're still gaining on him though. Up the inside. On the brakes for turn 12. Have I got it stopped in time? Nope. Well, I did. Oh, nearly high sided as well. But Baldessari just managed to hang it around the outside. Oh, I'm on the wrong side again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was almost a crash. That's not good. Tried to go around the outside. Ended up on the outside curb and uh, almost had a big crash as well. But staying in second place, a gap now to Baldessari. Marquez has dropped back to the next group of riders. Okay, we just need to settle down a little bit. That got a little bit hectic quite uh, quickly there. The rear is starting to move around. It's the front I'm more concerned about though. Okay, down into turn one. 1.1 is the gap to Baldessari. Can I close that down? I'm going to try. Should be fine. Hopefully. Already looks like it's coming down. Okay, half a second, so yeah, the, the uh, gap has already come down, which is obviously ideal for me. Down into the reverse corkscrew again on lap six. Okay, try and close in through turn ten again. We're not going to be anywhere near close enough to have a go this time. Still half a second the gap, but again it's coming down. It's definitely less than half a second now. Alright. Not the best of lines on the exit of that chicane. Marquez is a second behind now, but yeah, he is with the next group of riders now. Through turn 16, a bit too wide again, but we can cut that back. Much better. 
rear wasn't moving around too much that time. Down into turn one. Oh, too wide that. Back with Baldazari now on lap seven. The gap is pretty much irrelevant. We are with him. Just trying to find a way to get past. Oh, we got a better exit there. Not enough to ever go down into the reverse. Corkscrew have gone in a little bit too wide. Nearly got under him there. I might be able to here. There we go. That's the move for the lead. I've gone wide again though. He's back through. But I'll get a better run out of turn 10. Okay. Oh, no, on the curb again. Adazar is back through. He went in a little bit too hot there. Might be able to swing it around the outside, but um, I went too wide there. Don't want to repeat of a few laps ago. Okay, slipstream and we are much closer now down the straight, but still he's pulling away. I'm still not able to do anything about him down the straight. Okay, through the last couple of corners, much tighter that time. Okay, so, down to turn one, on to lap eight. That was a pretty much perfect turn one there. And okay, maybe through turn three, round the outside. There we go, into the lead. That is me into the lead now. So, can I pull away? It looks like I already am. Or maybe not. Oh, he's gone in too hot. He's gone in too hot. I thought he came from a long way back there. Oh, that's me in too hot there. Oh! Thanks, Badazari. He's on the inside now. I'm not going to be able to take the line I want through turn 10. Try and square it off and get the run out. It is working. It's working. Okay, on the brakes. Down to... Oh, I've gone in too hot. Bugger. Oh, that's Marquez there as well. Marquez and the next group of riders have caught us. I'm down to third. Nothing I can do there. So it's now a three-way battle again for the lead. And if I'm not too careful, then uh, the riders behind might catch up as well. I've gone in too hot again. Okay, so we are in trouble now. Schrotter not too far behind. Down to turn one. Marquez almost all over the back of Baldazari now. He is catching. Can I sneak up? No. I don't do it there. That would just mess us both up. But Mark has made his own mistake anyway. Up the inside now though. There we go. We got him through turn 7. Back in the second place. Front tyre is getting hotter by the lap. Should have gone for the hard front. Should have gone for the hard front. 
but it doesn't matter because we are still fighting for the lead. In fact, we're going to get back past into the lead we go. Onto the brakes. Yeah, that is me in the lead. Okay, down to the bus stop chicane. Through we go. Oh, Baldazari's down. What happened there? Okay, I don't know what happened there to Baldazari, but he is down. We're going to have to have a look at that at the replay afterwards. Well, that is uh, big news. Okay, so over the line. 0.9 of a second to Marquez. I am in the lead. Baldazari is down. He may still score points depending on where he finishes. I think he would have respawned inside the points. That's a shame that he went down really. But I'm not entirely sure what happened there. It sounded like it went a little bit wide into the entrance to the bus stop chicane. I don't know, maybe you almost went into the back of me or something or just went in a bit too hot trying to get past. Maybe he went off track doing that, got caught in the gravel or something. I don't know. We'll have a look after the race and have a look at the replay. At the moment we are looking good for another win. 1.2 still. Came through turn 13. Right. On to the start finish. I have start finish just the back straight at the moment. And we got two corners then the start finish straight. Coming to the end of lap 10 now. Just a few laps left to go. Sounds like and looks like they're actually closing back in. What is the gap over the line? 0.7. That gap is coming down to Marquez. It was over a second just a minute ago. Oh, we're going to see Marquez fighting with us for the last few laps. My front tyre is not feeling very good anymore. Having a few front end issues. That's too wide. Well, let's just get to the end. Right, get a run through turn 10. Try and pull away. Gap has gone back up. Over a second again. But then by the end of the lap, it's come down again. So just have to keep an eye on that for now. to the back straight 0.9 so yeah the gap is definitely coming down round we go oh moment there from the rear onto the start finish straight What's the gap over the line? Last time it's 0.7, it's 0.8, so it's gone up about a tenth of a second over the whole lap. But I don't feel as comfortable as I did a few laps ago. OK, 
Okay. Just continue pushing. So yeah, we had the uh, the news yesterday, guys, that uh, Circuit of the Americas has been postponed to November now. That was meant to be, uh, well, the beginning of the season for MotoGP, but that has now been postponed. Um, people thought it was going to because the government of uh, Austin, Texas did cancel a music event there, and that was the government doing that, and they've done the same with MotoGP now. Um, so yeah, it's looking like maybe the start of the season is going to be um, Thomas de Rio Hondo in Argentina, if they can get there. But uh, we might just end up having all the races at the end of the year, which obviously isn't going to be ideal weather-wise. Because uh, Valencia has been uh, pushed back further in November to make way for, for Cota. Uh, personally, I just think they should get rid of Valencia altogether. Maybe just send MotoGP back to Qatar for the uh, the finale instead of Valencia. But yeah, there's also rumours of potentially going back to Indianapolis instead of uh, Cota. But uh, I'm hoping that's just a rumour. Uh, not that I've been to either track, but it seems to me that um, Cota seems to be the, the more favourable track, especially for fans. I think Indianapolis, uh, the fans are quite far back for that one. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to, to wait and see what happens next. Obviously, there might be more cancellations, might be more uh, races being postponed. It's just something we've just got to keep an eye on. Like I said previously, the whole of Italy is now under lockdown. So uh, that's meant to be like that until beginning of April. So people can't get out. People shouldn't be able to get in either. Uh, I don't know. I think it's started to uh, spread in Spain as well. Um, yeah not a good situation at the moment it is calming down in places like China um, the rise in that is slowing down but uh, yeah we'll just have to wait and see what happens for the start the eventual start of the MotoGP season thing is as well if it gets too bad obviously we've got eSports which is uh, obviously meant to be happening that will obviously end up getting cancelled as well Unless they just do it completely online, which uh, might be the way to go, but you know it's gonna be gonna be difficult. Just have to wait and see, and uh, keep our ears to the ground for any kind of confirmation of when MotoGP is actually going to start. Like I said as well, uh, round two of World Superbikes has been uh, postponed for Qatar as well. So not entirely sure when that is going to uh, resume. So yeah, it's all up in the air at the moment. Just went all, oh, just went for it all to, to calm back down, and uh, hopefully it will uh, calm down soon. That's what we need to happen. Just need it to all settle down, and then everything can get back to normal people can get back to uh, their jobs and everything and uh, we can get back to racing but yeah I might have the uh, the interesting thing of the MotoGP 20 game coming out before the season has even started which doesn't really happen usually the game comes out in June um, obviously it's come out in April so might get the game before the season starts there, there might be some issues obviously with uh, distributing the physical copies but they can uh, surely uh, do the digital copies for sure do the digital downloads there's no problem with that it's just maybe the physical copies of the game obviously coming from 
um, like Italy and that. So I have to wait and see. So coming to the end of the penultimate lap of the race, I think we got this 1.8 second lead. Now we've got over Marquez in second, who is looking like he's under threat from third place. John Schumann is still Schrotter. See as we go over the line. Front end seems to have settled down a little bit now. We're back into the 55s as well. So it is still Schrotter in third. This is the final lap of the race. <laughs> Get this one down. And uh, we're going to be very, very close to uh, wrapping up the title here. I don't think we're quite going to do it. But I think we will be able to take the uh, potential championship at uh, Bury Ram. If everything goes smoothly. But Bury Ram is a bit of a, a difficult, difficult uh, track. Uh, especially for the AI. Um... Uh, I think it was, yeah, normal career in Moto2. I had a coming together with Schrotter and I ended up crashing. So I haven't got um, a very good record around there in Moto2. The AI usually seemed quite uh, strong around there anyway, so that might be quite a tricky race, but we'll have to wait and find out. We're getting there, two and a half second lead now. So yeah, we have well and truly pulled them away from. Uh, Marquez through the bus stop she came for the final time onto the back straight 2.2 second lead it is going to be another win good win as well it got a little bit hectic at one point but um, managed to recover Managed to get back into the lead. Baldessari unfortunately crashed behind me, which we will have a look at in a minute. But yeah, it's another win. Another win. Marquez looks like he's just got second well, place as well. Just uh, finished ahead of, of Schrotter. Let's take a quick look at the Moto2 class final ranking. So did, um, where did Baldessari finish? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. 13th place. So, yeah, he did get some points. Not many. Oh, I think we needed 125 to uh, get the title here. We're two points off of that. So, 22 behind. Right, this is what happened to Baldessari. So, going down into the bus stop chicane. He went a little bit too hot. Sat up because I was there. Uh, he didn't actually go off track, but Marquez just comes around and plows straight into uh, the the back and uh, flung him off. The cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If his team keeps working like this, it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake him. Yeah, so we've just got to uh, get get a good result at Bury Ramp, and the title is ours. With a few rounds still left to go. Okay, so let's look at the leaderboards. Um, start with Red Bull rookies. So, Noguchi leading up from Dupas Squire in second. Tate third. Salvador fourth. And Yuki Kuni in fifth place. Over to Moto3. Messia still leading that from Antonelli second. Dalaport third. Canet fourth. And Darren Binder in fifth place. Moto2. Is me leading that from Luti, Baldessari, Schrotter and Alex Marquez up to fifth. Now I've just got to score two more points in Luti in the next race. And Mark Marquez is the leading MotoGP Championship from Alex Rins. Rossi up to third, Dovi down to fourth and Vinales in fifth. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Should see you guys in the next video. See you.